shall we pray? Our gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning. Father, we want to thank you for who you are. May your grace continue, Father, even as we gather in this place where your children, Lord, you've worked so tirelessly throughout, are uh, indeed getting their uh, certificates. Father God Almighty, we pray that indeed may you place a hand of favor upon them so that they may continue, Lord, to do even better. We pray that, Lord, start with us and end with us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say welcome once again to this third ABE graduation ceremony being held in Lusaka, Zambia. And I'd like to begin by saying congratulations to all the graduates for their tireless efforts and for having scored the success which they have scored. I'd like to say that they have pursued this program in different pro uh, professions or in different disciplines and through their hard work, we are all gathered in this place because of these beautiful ladies and gentlemen. So please, let's give, up, give them a round up of applause once again. My encouragement to begin with will go to the parents, guardians, and sponsors that your work, your efforts is finally paying off. But I'm to, I will say that this is not the end, but just the beginning. And we, as ABE, we are happy to say that these graduates are ready for the market, and we, we're waiting to see them contribute to the growth of this country. So I will not go further into more discussions, but at this point in time, allow me to invite Dr. Lyndon Jones, the founder chairman of ABE, to come and address us. Good morning, ladies. Uh, minister, distinguished guests, particularly Minister of Education, Mr. David Marumba, and the Director of Zimbic, Mr. Julu. Ladies and gentlemen, it really is a very great privilege once again to attend your graduation ceremony. Thank you very much indeed for having invited me. I'm very impressed, as are so many other people, by the transformation which you are bringing about in your country and which we are witnessing throughout the continent. You are doing very, very much better than the rest of the world. So may I offer you your congratulations and perhaps you ought to tell the rest of us what is your secret. You find if somebody rings up a firm to apply for a job and they say, I've got a degree in American history or in English literature, the HRM manager is very likely to say, what relevance has that de those degrees got to our business? What relevance has a degree in American history or English literature or lots of other these degrees, what relevance is it to industry's needs? Contrast that with the people who've got professional qualifications, such as accountants, company secretaries, and the like. You do not see massive unemployment problems amongst people with professional qualifications. An ABE belongs to that category. Things which you study in an ABE program are designed to make you more effective managers. That was why ABE was set up. We got a lot of support from famous companies such as 3M, Unilever's, Ford Motor Company and the like. And one of our big publishing companies had the launch of ABE take place in their boardroom, Macmillan's. And ABE has spread, it was intended as a UK qualification. It expanded throughout the world and very quickly. 
We've now got students from over 105 different countries of the world studying for our programs. Now, how does a degree equate with a professional qualification? If you look at how the government in the UK grade qualifications, our, a level four, a level five, a level six, a level seven, eight, nine, up to eight, sorry. If you work backwards, level eight is a doctorate. Level eight are doctorates. Level seven, if you take a level seven, an MBA is level seven. ABE's level seven program ranks alongside that of an MBA. An honours degree is level six. ABE's level six ranks alongside that of, a, of an honours degree. Our level five, level four, they're all in line with the awards given by universities. So it's important that people understand this because I repeat, very few people understand why we have professional qualifications. And I repeat, I'm not going to go into the history of it, but there are reasons why that happened. If we work together, we're much more likely to come up with very good suggestions and ideas. And it's our responsibility to do this for our children and our grandchildren. Thank you very much. That is quite inspiring. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's my rare privilege and honor to invite the Honorable Deputy Minister of Education, Honorable David, David Mabumba. Dr. Lyndon Jones, uh, the Founder Chairman of the Association of Business Executive. Mr. Juluch Simule, Simule, Zambia Insurance Business Trust Director. Directors or principal of AB accredited colleges, our parents, the sponsors, our graduating students, and my colleagues, the brass band who are here, the media who are here, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to begin by expressing my gratitude to the Association of Business Executives for inviting me to officiate at this memorable event. The ABE third graduation ceremony in Zambia. Our ministry, ladies and gentlemen, is aware that ABE programs have been running in this country for the past or for the last 12 years, which I believe is a positive indicator of the growth of the education sector. As many of you distinguished ladies and gentlemen, especially those that have been following the happenings in the Ministry of Education are aware, We've got a strategic plan. We also have a document called the NIF-3. These are pieces of strategic documents that the ministry have, which are focused on increasing literacy levels in our country. And there are the professional bodies, such as AB, are playing to help government meet these objectives, cannot be overemphasized. The strategic plan, colleagues and ladies and gentlemen, is intended to realign the activities of the ministry with the vision 2030, objectives which are aimed at driving Zambia to a middle income level country. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you will agree with me that professional bodies such as the Association of Business Executives are an important part of our education development and should therefore be supported for our country to achieve the Vision 2030 objectives. The Ministry of Education has been working tirelessly to ensure that Education programs such as ABE reach our young men and women in this country who have no opportunity to study in the university parameter due to the scarcity of places in our universities. I'm happy also to state that Teveta has played and has continued to play a pivotal role in ensuring that the quality of training is up to the international standards and meet the local needs of the Zambian market. So this is why the Zambia Qualifications Authority is coming on board 
so that if you end a professional qualification, we should be able to tell you that AB level 4 is equivalent either to a degree or a master's. So you can see we are trying to promote the growth of the education sector. And, I, and like uh, Dr. Jones, he didn't want to go into the details, but we have also taken it as a country that we recognize, even including the, your minister speaking here, I am a chartered secretary myself. I pursued in London. I was a student with the Institute Chartered of Secretaries. So even me, I don't know where, where, where my chartered secretary is equivalent, but with the coming of the Zambia, the Zambia Qualification Authority, they will be able to tell me that this is where it is equated to. So it is, it is, it is indeed, colleagues, for me, an honor and a privilege. And you know, each time that I travel across this country, I even tell our teachers, this is the best time for the education sector because it is growing at a very faster pace. So that even those who didn't have an opportunity to go here in, in a university, either at Hunza or CBU, we have got Kwame Nkrumah, which is coming up, we have got Mukuba, which is coming up, we have Chalimbana, Palabana, Robert Kapasan, Pomushin, they're coming up, and they're for you young men and women. So like my colleague said, this should not be the end of your education calendar, no. You should just regard your ABA qualification as a stepping stone for bigger things. But again, if you don't take opportunities that exist, it will be up to you. And like, again, my colleague, uh, Dr. Uh, John said, you know, when I worked in the UK, I worked in a company where robots, and I had never seen it as an African. You know, it's a manufacturing company where you just put things on a robotic machine and it transports. So when people talk about robots, these are realities. These things are coming even in Africa. Sooner or later, we'll be able to see them. But the question is, as you graduate from here, what do we want you to be? is that we don't want you to rely on saying, no, 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 when I graduate, for example, I've finished my ABA, I'm going to look for a white-collar job. No. Then we are not going to develop colleagues in this country. We need to ensure that even as we graduate, we should start thinking of setting up companies. It's unfortunate Dr. Lawrence Sukutwa is not here. He's one of our key men in this country who was, you know, who, who is one of our instrumental entrepreneurs. So even you colleagues, as you graduate, I want to encourage you Look beyond the horizon of saying, no, no, I'm going to be employed. Start thinking that you are going to be an employer. You are going to set up companies to start employing other people. And that should be the essence of education. Not to go and start looking for employment. No, the essence of education is for you to go and create up in entrepreneurship and you start creating employment. And the issue of unemployment, it will be a thing of the day. So colleagues, not to take much of your time, May I just once again congratulate you and thank you individually and several for the long journey that you have made. I know it is an investment. You know, it has taken your time, your energy, your commitment to stay to be a graduate at this important occasion. And I want to thank Pride, you know, the manager for Zambia. You know, he's a young man, but you can see he's managing the country office for Zambia in terms of A, B qualifications. And I want also to thank him for the positive contribution he is making with his team for the development of the Business Executive Association in this country through the AB programs and qualification. I'm full of uh, joy with those encouraging words regarding entrepreneurship. Well, because when I look at all these graduates here, if each one of us can have a company or a business and employ two people, how many businesses are we going to have? So that's food for thought. Thank you so much once again, ladies and gentlemen, for your time and for being with us. And at this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to invite the graduating students to receive their certificates. And I believe this is an important time that they've all been waiting for. So I will once again invite the high table just to step down to greet and hand over the certificates of graduation to our graduates. We are going to begin with those who've completed ABE level four.
I'd like to invite to the podium one of the graduating students from Graduate Diploma Level 6, Nancy Mohongo, to give a vote of thanks on behalf of the graduates. My name is Nancy Mohongo, the Deputy Minister of Education, Honorable David Mabumba MP, the Founder Chairman and executive, Chief Executive Officer of ABE, Dr. Landon Jones, the Director Zambia Insurance and Business College Trust, Mr. Julius Simule, Directors and principals from ABE accredited colleges in Zambia, the ABE regional manager, Mr. Pride Sinkala, the ABE country manager, Zimbabwe, Ms. Fungai Mawaza, parents and guardians, my fellow graduates, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, or should I simply say, all protocols observed. I count it a rare privilege and honor to be given this wonderful opportunity to give a vote of thanks of, on my behalf of my fellow graduates at the third ABE graduation ceremony in Zambia. Allow me to thank the Association of Business Executives Zambia Office for providing us this opportunity in our lifetime to graduate. I wish to thank all the directors and principals from various ABE accredited colleges in Zambia who have rendered guidance to us in our various fields of studies which, were, which have made it possible to graduate. The skills and knowledge that you have imparted in us would definitely contribute towards the national development of our country. To our sponsors, guardians, and parents, please do not relent in supporting us as results are there to show for themselves. We will not let you down and will at all times work hard to put a smile on your faces. Your support and encouragement has brought us this far. I believe this is just but the beginning of the many achievements that we are yet to score in our endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to congratulate all my fellow graduates in various business disciplines graduating today for their tireless efforts and hard work. I know one thing for sure, as a graduate, it has not been easy for some of my colleagues you are witnessing graduate today, especially that they have to keep their daytime job and study at the same time. May this spirit of hard work continue in all your future endeavors, my fellow graduates. With these few remarks, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank you all and please have a good day. God bless you. Thank you.